Our state's 40 electoral college votes helped Donald Trump become the next president of the United States. Both Trump and Senator Ted Cruz outperformed many of the state polls, and the results come after both won by slimmer margins in 2020 than in their first contest in Texas. Tonight, KLTV7's Michael Richardson takes a closer look at the Texas takeaways from this election. Across America, a rightward shift from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania to Texas. The polling definitely underestimated Trump's uh, actual vote on Election Day. It was a red wave. In Texas, now President-elect Donald Trump is projected to win by roughly 14 points, over double his 2020 margin. Between 2012 and 2020, Republican presidential margins in the Lone Star State shrunk by roughly 10 points. Previously, that led some to believe Texas may be a current or future battleground state, turning purple. But following yesterday's results, UT Tyler's Dr. Ken Wink still calls Texas a red state. This is over 30 years now that a uh, Democrat has not won a statewide election in, in Texas. Certainly those margins were getting closer. Trump has found an interesting coalition uh, that is very atypical of what Republicans have been able to put together. And it's not about identity politics. It's about having a high quality of life. Right now, the Republicans get it, and the Democrats don't get it. Adding to the GOP's gains, Senator Ted Cruz secured his third term in the upper chamber. After a less than three-point margin of victory in 2018, Cruz went on to win against Congressman Colin Allred by roughly nine points. Dr. Wink believes Cruz succeeded in his messaging. He did not fail to link Colin Allred to the National Democratic Party and their policy issues. And I think that was a great strategy or a great tactic on his part. 2026 will be the next big trial for Democrats in Texas. Both the governor's office and U.S. Senator John Cornyn's seat are up for grabs. Michael Richardson, KLTV 7 News. And in Washington, Texas, Senator John Cornyn is vying to succeed Senator Mitch McConnell as the next majority leader. For election results ranging from school board races to the state house and plenty of others, scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen. That'll take you to our comprehensive list of election results from all across East Texas.